newzealandmusician.co.nz Can I get you to um, introduce yourself? Sure. Do you want me to look at the camera or look at you? You can look wherever you okay. want to look. Um, I'm Amber Maya. <laughs> and um, what sort of music do you make, Amber? Um, I make mainly R&B music. I'm pop R&B. I guess we can classify it under that umbrella. There's a lot of influences in there. Um, but I think ultimately... Um, the most influences pop and R and B. Would have people heard you? Would have Kiwis have? Would would they have heard your music around before? Um, I think so. Mainly, if they listen to Spotify. Um, luckily, my music has been playlisted on a few Spotify playlists. So, um, if you're a Spotify user, you most likely would have heard it on there, depending on what playlists you listen to, um, and on BFM or on Radioactive FM. Um, a few stations have yeah, played a bit of my stuff. That kind of takes me right into a, a question. So when I do these interviews, I try to run them in a way that other musicians who might be watching this get something out of it, something yeah. to learn. And one question I get asked a lot by um, uh, local musicians is, how do I get myself on a Spotify playlist? How do I get playlisted? How did you do it? Yeah, I wish I had a definitive answer for that, to be honest. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> Because people have asked me this before, and I actually don't have any secret formula for how my stuff got on playlists. Um, I will say that they, my music didn't immediately get um, playlisted, and the stuff that has been playlisted or that was playlisted first was my first EP, which is very acoustic based, very indie um, singer songwriter um, style. And for me, literally, it just so happened that one day I realized my music had been on a playlist. So that, that's not so helpful for people maybe wanting to find a secret way to get in on them because I don't actually know. Do they send you a notification or something if you get playlisted? I think they do now, now that there's the Spotify for Artists platform, um, which maybe is just new to me. I'm not sure if it's actually that new to everyone. Um, you can you get notifications through that if you have been put on a playlist. But at the time when I had first been on a playlist, so that would be about maybe a year or two years ago, no, there was no notification. I just went on my Spotify where I just realized that my royalty payments were larger and kind of had to put two and two together. Mm. Yeah. As a musician, you've got lots of interesting different backgrounds that are all worth an entire story <laughs> on its own. What yeah. I found particular interesting, particularly interesting is that, well, I get to talk to a lot of musicians, mm. but not a lot of musicians who are also, um, are you a professional dancer? Could, would you be able to say that? Yeah, I would be able to say that. I mean, for um, that, that's what I, I guess, am by trade or by training. You know, I have a... a Bachelor in Performing and Screen Arts with a focus on contemporary dance. And I've worked as a dancer quite extensively. Um, it's probably the thing that I have the most experience in. Um, yeah, ranging from contemporary to hip hop, where I've done a lot of backup dancing. Um, yeah, I've done my fair share of that. So that's more like, I guess, yeah, hip hop kind of commercial dancing. So yeah. I, That's definitely a big part of my background and part of my story. When uh, when you're a dancer and you're kind of you 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 work with rhythm so much, yeah. how does that influence the music you make? I like that question. Um, now it influences the music I make quite a lot. In that, when I'm especially now that I've started producing myself, because I wasn't always producing beats but now that I've started producing beats um, I'm not I'm not a very theoretical music person I'm not really great at music theory at all um, so like when I go to make something now for me it's all about how it feels um, like when I'm making a beat or when I am creating something it's yeah the rhythm is very physical for me um, and I think that's definitely due to my dance background that for me how I process music is a really physical experience um, and when I go to make it I think about the shifts and like the highs and the lows and then the and shifts and beats mainly with how that would translate in your body yeah <laughs> that's I yeah I have no idea 
No, no, no. I, I was wondering yeah. about that because I am not very much not a dancer. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> um, and, I, and you know that probably influences what I do sometimes. Yeah, the like, like dance was my way into music. You know, yeah, definitely. That's where I first had any relationship to music in any real kind of way. I think. Mm. And and the other part of your interesting background is that. <coughs> Wow, you 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 in a way you're really a global citizen. Yeah. C can yeah. you can you just roughly give a give a rough summary of the main places I've been? Places that you belong feel you belong to? Yeah. Um so I was born and raised in Barbados. Um so Barbados definitely feels like home to me. And then my dad is from New Zealand and his whole side of the family they're all from New Zealand. So I always grew up with a strong connection to Aotearoa because of my dad and because we'd come back here growing up to visit my family. And then when it became time for me to go to university, I came to New Zealand and I went to uni here. And then that's when I sort of formed my own connection to this place. Um, so for me, New Zealand is my second home. Um, I've also spent some time in New York before coming to New Zealand for where I like finished university I went to a school in New York a tertiary I went to a dance school um, and I recently spent time in Berlin I spent a year there which has been amazing and then next I'm off to London and that's the gonna be the new base so everywhere but I mean the main places that I um, feel like roots in and hugely connected to would be Barbados and New Zealand. And um, your your upcoming EP yeah. was um, yeah. written and recorded and produced and everything in Barbados actually with with a childhood friend of yours. Yeah. Please tell me how you how you then kind of got back to your very roots in a way to work on music. Yeah, which is really nice and important thing for me to do, I felt, especially with where I am right now. And I've been away from home, home being Barbados for a while. Um, so last year I was in Berlin and so I have a childhood friend, Mohammed Hanif, who produced a lot of the, um, a lot of the music that's um, coming. And we've always been trying to work together. Um, we both sort of came to music at the same time and we went our separate ways. Like I was in New York while he was in Canada and we were just never really in Barbados at the same time. Um, and then I was planning a trip to go back home from Berlin and I just messaged him. So we've been in contact a little bit. I messaged him, said like, you know, what are the chances of, you know, you being there at the same time? And they didn't really line up, but then we just, we were like, no, we have to do this. So we made a few changes to both of our plans. And we, I went back home for three weeks, a bit earlier than I had planned, and pretty much spent three weeks just working with him on music. And initially it was meant to be two weeks, but we were... After the second week, we're like, no, we still can get a bit more out of this. We can, like, maybe finish a few more songs. So I extended my stay for another week. But I think to what you said about and maybe the importance of, like, going back to my roots to work on music, um, I think something I've been experiencing in the last few years, and I think it comes from being a global citizen and going and occupying so many spaces, is sometimes what you risk happening is sort of losing that sense of connection to maybe where you or what happened to me is that I felt as I was losing a little bit of connection to where I'm I'm from or like you know when they say like you know you need to know where you're from to know where you're going that kind of whole idea so I had been thinking a lot about my relationship to home and where is home and what is that so in the music that I was making a lot of those questions were also coming up for me um so I think to actually go back to Barbados and to write there and to record some of it there and the majority of it was really important and really something that I um, cherish, you know, that I was able to do. Um, being based in London mm. very soon, how are you planning to release it? That seems to be quite difficult. Like if you're in New Zealand, then you kind of focus on that first yeah. and then you 
kind of branch out. How do you how do you do that? How do you release as an independent artist, um, moving around a lot? Yeah. Um, so so for me so far it's worked quite well because though I've moved around, I've stayed at least in a few places for a while. So I've been able to focus my releases on those places that I'm in at that time. Um, I suppose I've gotten quite a bit of advice from people in the industry pushing me in that direction. So for me, I guess I will, I will, I will release the EP, LP, I'm not really sure at this stage, um, when I'm there and really focus on releasing it yeah, to the UK market. Mm. Um, and of course, I hope that when I do that, you know, that I will still have the Beijing market behind me, the New Zealand market, and the Berlin people that I've met. I'm kind of hoping that as I go more places, I'm kind of picking up people on the way, and I'm sort of like you know planting myself a little bit in all these places, so that then we can just all come together at some point. Have you got a rough release date ready to go? Yeah, the rough release date um, was May 10th, but I think that's probably going to be pushed back a little bit, so I should probably just reel that back in. Um, yeah, but in May, there, there's been a few, um, like, I guess this always happens, there's been a few setbacks along the way mm -hmm. that have kind of um, made the release dates get, you know, further and further into the distance, but it's definitely coming soon. We'll link in uh, the, uh, to your YouTube channel so people can check out your oh. recent singles and your yeah. awesome new video. Um, can you tell people a place that's really good to keep up to date with what you're up to, gigs and, and yeah. the release itself yeah. when, when it's there? Um, the best place would be my Facebook page. Um, I post most things on that and like any live live gigs which I have coming up in Europe um, and any releases I post on my Facebook. So that's just um, facebook.com slash Amber Maya Music. Cool. I'll link to that in the cool. description below as well Yay. so people can easily find it. Thank you so much for Thank popping you. by. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> so nice. Yes.